Just as in race one, it was Winterbottom versus Win Cup in the last leg of Darwin's Triple Crown. Frosty looking for revenge. His FPR tipped out after 36 leading laps yesterday. He was looking for a strong start in the valley. Could well be the most fascinating race we've had. And Mark Winterbottom has absolutely nailed him off the start. Win Cup on the softer tyres. Couldn't get it going. Now that is extraordinary. So Winterbottom down there. Oh dear, they're four abreast again. Holdsworth is going to take it wide around the outside and lead them through. Win Cup falling to fourth as Lee Holdsworth took off at the front for the first of 69 laps. Winterbottom second and holding off the team Vodafone pair for a while. Here's the dive, turn 14. Holdsworth was also on the soft tyre and five seconds clear of Win Cup. Garth Tander was up eight spots into seventh, while after yesterday's blow and tyre, Jason Bright's weekend got even worse. Oh, oh that's an enormous that's a blowout tire failure. from Jason Bright. Bright dropping oil all across the track. First James Courtney and then last race winner Rick Kelly skating off. Oh, straight off the road goes Rick Kelly. A safety car bringing Holdsworth and Win Cup in for a move to hard tyres. Most of the field following them in. Four cars still out there led by Will Davison. Holdsworth the top car to have pitted. Win Cup following. The pair fighting through the traffic. Win Cup, this is always hard here. Good. Did he get away with that only just? He had to stick it on the dirt to do it. It didn't take long for Holdsworth to reach top spot again. So Holdsworth makes the move. He takes the lead in race 13. We're closing it on Will Davison. GT's day was over with a mechanical problem while Greg Murphy slotted into fifth on the soft rubber. Holdsworth and Win Cup well ahead, the pair fighting for the lead. Yeah, so Win Cup now on the inside of Holdsworth at six. Puts Win Cup in. The lead of this race. Back in the pack, David Reynolds was tipped off at turn one while Win Cup pulled out a seven second gap at the front. Another set of pit stops mixed the field. Todd Kelly having some issues. Go, go, mate. Go, go. Oh, shit. Stop. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, again. Whoa. Oh, no. That's, that's still hooked up. It was the go, same mate, thing go. as yesterday. And it's hit one of the crew members on, on release. One of the pit crew heard as Kelly took off with a hose attached and after this guy was playing up to the camera, the wheel nut he was responsible for came off. It looked like the captive nut has actually come out of the wheel. Actually, it looks like it's machined yeah. itself in half. Win Cup, though, was untouchable at the front while his teammate relegated Frosty to fifth. James Courtney joined Tander in the pits on a terrible day for HRT. And then everything changed. This is going to be a very big impact. No question about this for Carl Reindler. Oh. Carl Reindler bringing out the safety car and all Win Cup's good work was undone. Everyone on different tyres with different grip and an eight-lap sprint to the line. Everybody's a target at this restart. Win bottom saw the race vanish in front of his eyes yesterday. Can he get it back today? Lowndes leading from Shane Van Gisbergen. Win Cup swamped on old rubber. The Giz stalking Lowndes and looking for his first race win in Australia. Lowndes doesn't cover. And here he is, down the inside. Very good pass, Shane Van Gisbergen. Two laps to go. The 23-year-old holding off the veteran. Okay, mate, you got two to go. Let's keep your eye on the prize, buddy. Every corner counts. Every corner. Van Gisbergen nursing his Ford home for just his second victory. He's only won once before in the V8 Supercar Championship. And he may well take this thing across the line sideways. He's held off one of the best of all time. And the Gears gets it done. The young Kiwi beating one of the best ever and celebrating in style. Oh, yeah, it was just an awesome job. And those guys did a, a great job today as well, the boys. Great pit stops, awesome strategy, and uh, another set of uh, smoke Dunlop tyres. Will McCloy, Big Pond Sport.